Hey guys, it's Omni here with some more AFK Arena. Today we're back on the free to play account on the test server and patch 1.53 is up. So let's go ahead and look through the notes. We'll go through and we'll see the actual heroes. So the new celestial hero, Ina, is up and there she is. Absolutely amazing looking. The frozen mother, and I think it's Alna. We'll, we'll go with Alna. So let's run through her skills and abilities, but look at the graphics. That is absolutely phenomenal. Probably one of the best looking heroes that I've seen. That, that is absolutely stunning. Of course, she is a warrior class and she is a debuffer. So looking at our ultimate ability, Winter War Cry, it's passive. Passive. Big, big point. All characters on the battlefield, including allies, have their haste reduced by 40 points. Active. Alna calls down a blizzard upon all enemies, dealing 340% damage to them, causing any haste reduction to be multiplied by two times over 12 seconds, also nullifying any haste buffs that are received during this time. The effect of the ability cannot be affected by any other abilities. So breaking it down, so all characters, so everybody has their haste reduced. So she is slowing down the entire battlefield passively, just, just being there. Active, so when she actually uses her ultimate ability, she calls down the blizzard, causing any haste reductions to be multiplied two times over 12 seconds. So bringing a further haste reduction, almost freezing essentially the battlefield, which is crazy. That, that seems like it's going to be pretty tough for allies to deal with. Second ability is Freezing Pierce. All in the thrust or spear into an enemy target, dealing damage equal to 10% of their maximum health. Damage cannot exceed 520% of Alna's own attack rating. As you can see, damage dealt is increased by 1% of the enemy's health whenever their haste is reduced by 3 points. And then damage dealt equal to 14% of the max health. So that seems very, very strong. If you're doing 14% damage to, to a target, that, that is very, very strong. That, that is a very, very strong multiplication factor there just with a single freezing pierce, especially if you can get haste, which I'm not sure you can. I think she's going to be a very, very slow attack. Winter's Call. Alna calls upon the frigid winter to encircle herself and disrupt her enemies. Alna is immune to damage and control abilities for seven seconds, and nearby enemies will have their dodge reduced. So similar to Brutus's Roar, which completely mitigates it, but she is going to be able to kill those hard-to-kill agility users, um, your Kazes, which I can definitely think of. So she is going to have not only immune to damage and control abilities for seven seconds, which level three, nine seconds with a dodge reduction. And the final ability, which is the Frozen Fury, only use her spear to swipe the enemies, dealing 200% damage to them, also reducing their haste by 20 points for five seconds. Each use of this ability increases the number of attacks that are dealt up to a maximum of three attacks are reached. The ability's haste reduction effect may be stacked multiple times. Wow, so pretty much everything she is going to do is going to nullify haste. So she is going to be able to absolutely slow down battles. Gonna be interesting. I, I wanna see how the Winter's War Cry really, really works. Let's look at her signature item really quick. During battle, when Alna suffers damage, she gradually recovers 50% of the health which was lost over the next 15 seconds. So she comes with her own heal. Not only is she a warrior, she comes with her own heal with her Frostbite signature item. During the battle, when Alna suffers damage, she gradually recovers 70% of the health. During battle, she gradually recovers 70% of the health over 10 seconds. So five seconds slower or faster with the health recovery. When Alna's health drops below 50% for the first time, the effects of Winter's Call are triggered. Winter's Call, which is this one. Wow, so when she drops below 50% the first time, she'll go immune for seven seconds. Control abilities as well for nine seconds. Plus, she's going to have a heal that's going to bring back 70% of the health which was lost. Wow, that, that, that seems kind of crazy. Furniture, when placed on the front line, damage dealt by other frontline allies cause enemy targets to lose five haste points for 30 seconds. Wow, for 30 seconds, so one third of the battle, they are going to lose haste. 
When placed in the front line, the effect of the ability Winter's Call also takes effect for her other frontline ally. So if you're running, I can see like her with Arthur, um, because Arthur is such a solid tank, is, is they're going to go ahead and get a big, big boost from her nine set with Winter's Call. Wow, so Arthur can go immune, crowd control, he's immune to it pretty much anyways but also having the dodge reduction. So essentially with her nine piece furniture, the two heroes in the front, even if you ran another warrior, um, could possibly just burn through an absolute front line very, very quick, which is gonna be cool to see. So let's look at her ability, her an actual action. We will slow it down to check it out. I love the snow effect. It's such a cool, cool effect. So she runs to the back line. Definitely her animation for this. There is the Winter's Call for the ultimate ability. So they're both affected by it. That is the haste reduction. Very, very cool new hero, guys. I know a lot of players, especially free to play, Alna's probably not going to be a hero that you're going to see for a long time or anytime soon. Um, definitely use her as a trial hero. Seems like she's going to be pretty good on some teams. Similar to Wukong with the haste reduction that he does. Um, that's going to be very, very powerful. Remember, super powerful in PvP right off the bat. Anything with haste reduction, that's why Wukong works so well in PvP. But even she is hitting heroes in front of her. She is hitting heroes behind of her. Um, sort of like Cirrus with the big sweeping attacks even there she's she's hitting heroes behind her while she's attacking heroes in front of her with that with that sweeping attack so very very cool new hero guys i cannot wait to build her um let's look at some of the other features that came out with the patch of course the winter effect is here so you can see that the winter chess snow has fallen all over Espria, but there's also a new peaks of time which i don't know if it's up yet nope forest mania is not up yet um, store changes. Let's see the store changes. So it says now there's going to be a fourth row. There it is, guys. A little bit expensive, but it is faction specific gear. Look at that. This is the reason I've been saving my tokens once we came out with this. So every day it is going to be faction gear. The reset is still 100 diamonds. Very, very nice. So even looking here, because I carry Shamira as my main carry, she is fully geared out. Um, I also use Rose. Rose, not the most ideal gear, still missing the hat. So if we look here, we could get a Greyborn hat. We could get a Hypogen hat, but we can still do a refresh. Boom, all new gear. Plus stones, look at that. <gasps> There's stones in the bottoms too. Usually the, these first three or first four always changed. I think they raised the levels possibly of these. I don't see any of Arthur. Well, there's Arthur's gear. So the Celestials and the Hypogens probably have a bigger shot as well. It's going to be much easier to get gear, guys. Big, big change. This is the one that I was most excited for. So essentially every day, if you go ahead, look what's in the shop. If you don't like it, go ahead and reset it. Or you can just wait every single day. Your gear will come in there eventually. Might take a little bit for the one or two couple pieces that are very, very unique that you're looking for faction. So save your guild coins right now. I know we still do have Ains coming, which you gotta drop your 80,000 guild coins in there, but save the guild coins as of right now so, so you can get exactly what you're looking for out of the guild shop. Very, very cool. And then we do have the changes to Thane that came out as well. So let's take a quick look at Thane. Not Oscar. Still an agility hero, but Thane. So change the exclusive furniture swift death. Thane's ability has a 100% chance to hit enemies the first time it is used against them and deals damage equal to 18% of their maximum health. I think it, it wasn't adjusted, so it looks like it wasn't just adjusted, um, which was failing to correctly raise the final number of attacks dealt by the ability X-ray. So they just fixed it. So right here, Excavate is raised by six attacks. So essentially, Excavate, which is this one. So attacks the enemy randomly seven times, a total of eight attacks. Quantity of the attacks is increased to nine attacks, number nine attacks. 
The default number of Excavate is raised by six attacks, giving him 15 total attacks with this ability. Wow, that, that can definitely be a game changer. 15 attacks if you have Thane completely maxed out. Absolutely amazing. Naru, I'm not too worried about, but I don't know if there's any new events up yet, which it looks like winter is here. So there it is. So winter's here. The first snow has fro uh, fallen. Sing songs and rejoice. The frozen mother has arrived. So we get a chest. What is in our little red chest there? Not too bad. Just another chest of wishes, which is okay. But for the events themselves, I don't think the events are up yet. Honorful Trials of Mortis. Nope. So no new events at this time, but winter is here. And Alna is up. Alna seems very, very powerful. Very cool to see the new hero, guys. So let me know in the comments what you guys think. She seems like not only going to be a monster in PvP, it seems like she's going to be really strong in the campaign, especially versus the teams that have haste. So if you have teams, especially if you're fighting the twins, if you're fighting the god tier comp, a um, couple campaign stages seems like she's going to be very, very powerful with a huge, huge, absolutely crazy big haste reduction, which is awesome to see. So again, let me know in the comments what you guys think. And as always, thank you for watching.